Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see how to draw development of pipe A. So now this is a ICAC board technical drawing application question paper 2015. So what we'll do first we'll draw circle we'll divide into 12 parts because the diameter is 56. Then we'll extend up. See you draw circle and you draw rectangle but we don't know the height of the rectangle. We know only 40 so I'll mark 40. And from there, I'll draw 45 degree. So then wherever it will cut with this line, that will be the height. So this is pipe A. Then pipe B, you can draw it like this. Now, if you see over here, I have shown long break line 90. I can't draw 90 because paper is small. So I have shown it like that. Now we need to draw development. All of you know the development formula that is 2 pi r. Say in engineering drawing or in technical drawing, we don't have math, but we have few formulas which you need to remember. So if you do this 2 pi r, it will be 176 mm. So you need to take 176 mm and you need to draw a rectangle. So what we are doing, we are drawing development of pipe A. As you already know that Cylinder with a multiple cut is called pipe. So now we know this rectangle. Now we need to divide this rectangle into how many parts? 12 parts because I have divided circle into 12 parts. So always remember whenever is diameter is more than 50, you divide into 12 parts. 50 or less than 50, you divide into 8 parts. And if you see over here what I'm doing, I'm marking with scale. You can do it like this also. Instead of using compass, you can do this also. So I'll, I'll be joining last point to that 12. And then draw parallel line. So by doing this, we have divided 176 into 12 equal part. See, this is cylinder PQRS. If you see, this is PQRS. Then this is what we normally draw. And then over here, I'm extending all this line because I have divided into 12 parts. Now, why we divide into 12 parts? Because there are no edges. So, we'll get all these points which will help us in section of solids development so that's why we divide into 12 parts i'm writing a b c d e f g h now i'm not writing i i'm writing j k l m a b c d e f and if you know why i'm not writing i then you can please message me in the comment box. Now you draw this much dark. Then you draw this. So this is what we'll get pipe A. See this point A is here. Got it? Now then you extend from here wherever it is cutting that line, division line and the cut line. See this, this is B and M. So B will come here, M will come here. Same way, C and L. So C will come here. L will come here. Same way, D and K. So 
so d will come here and k will come here then e and j e will come here and j will come here then this is f and h f will be over here and h will be over here then you extend the lower one last one that is g so you got all this points this all this points you can join with free hand or french curve whatever you feel comfortable and this is point p that is sorry a which will be here then this point slightly above that is b and m i'll extend and i'll mark on b as well as m this is c and l you extend from here then you extend d and k then this is e and j e will come here j will come here then f and h f will come here and h will come here and g now again join all these points with free hand these two line will be vertical the extreme line and then join all this with free hand so by doing this we have completed development of pipe a remember it's a very simple topic only thing what you need to do you need to go step by step assume a cylinder with multiple cuts and you will get it this is circumference c equals to 176 mm this is development of pipe a so we did pipe a now what if we have to do pipe b then this is pipe b right so if you want to draw pipe b let's say this is pipe b so what you do you will draw circle over here and this is your part this is your pipe b so then you draw development like this then you project all these points same way you divide into 12 parts and you'll get curve like this so this you should try on your own and then you let me know see over here i can't do because my page is too small and it will go outside the page so i hope everyone understood this thank you